And then I'm going to open the snippets.txt file that's in my O2 folder right here. And I'm going to select and copy the code from lines 10 to line 20, highlight it, copy it, and I'm going to paste it inside single flower model and then save it. I'm starting my code by creating a namespace. A namespace. app and assigning it to either a value of app or to an empty JavaScript object. These two lines here are called a pipe and in JavaScript that means or. I'm then prefixing my single flower variable with app, meaning that if another variable called single flower comes onto my web page, it won't conflict with my variable because it's called app.singleflower. Namespacing is a well-defined JavaScript best practice and I'll be using it for all my module files. The most common way to create a backbone model is to backbone.model.extend method. Next, I'm assigning some default properties to my model using a default object starting on line six. Each of my model's instances will have their own unique properties, but there may be certain properties that I want my model to have, and I just may not set them for whatever reason. As I've defined on line seven, and if it doesn't have an image assigned to it, it will automatically assign it the placeholder.jpg image that's inside of my images folder. Now, to put this model to use, I need to make a few copies of it within my web app, a process commonly known as instantiation. So I'm going to go back to snippets.txt, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to highlight and copy lines 25 to 45. and another called heirloom roses. Each one has a price and a link property. I'm not going to talk about the link property for now. I'll discuss it when we start talking about routes. Take note that the red roses instances has an image and the color as well, but the rainbow roses instance has a color but not an image, and the heirloom roses instance has an image but not a color. I gave my single flower model default properties for both the image and the color, so my default placeholder.jpg image one more block of code to do that. So I'm going to go back to snippets.txt and highlight lines 50 through 52 and copy them and go back to flowerapp.js and paste them at the bottom and save that. Backbone models have access to a method called toJSON, which looks at our model instance data as if it were a JSON-like object. It's not true JSON behind the scenes, but it's the toJSON method. So let's open up this page on Chrome. So let's jump to Chrome. And I'm gonna go to File, Open File. And I'm going to navigate to the file which is an 02, 01, start, index.html, and let's bring up the browser console. And I do that in view, developer,
that we need to cover first.